Hi everyone, Marguerite here, and today I am talking about zines. What I would like to do is explain what a zine is, show you some examples, and then show you how to make one. So first, the definition of a zine is a small, circulated, self-published work of original or appropriated texts and images, usually reproduced via photocopier. So, they are small books made with images that have been cut out of old magazines, uh, things of that sort. They are done in a series so that it tells a small story. Okay, so let me take a couple of these and start with some examples. This one is called Her Story. You open it up and this is done with multiple spreads and there's just some simple words. She is lovely. You've got a postage stamp and a bunch of kind of vintage elements that are collaged onto this story. She is soulful. Here's another postage stamp. She has spirit. She is hopeful. At the back there is a signature, Polly, and a date, 11-2018, so that you know when it was made and who made it. This one is called The Puzzle of Space. This one is cool. It's got some kind of campy images of space-related things, including some very cool postage stamps. The background is pattern paper. There's a little bit of um, doodling, uh, things of that sort. Okay, Julie Welsh, Space, November 11th, 2017. Okay, so you can kind of see how these are these are done. This is also very just a very simple wording. There's there's no no real story that goes with it, but there's a theme that is carried all the way through. Beauty, noble, charming, delightful, timeless. This one has a little bit more um, text to it. It says, My Feathered Friends, Bird Love. Birds delivered joy by airmail. What would the world be without birds? Birds of a feather flock together. All the birdies go peep, peep. In praise of avian angels, birds keep life joyful. Come fly with me. August 2015 by Connie Rose. So again, postage stamps all the way through. There's a background pattern paper. Pretty simple. Simple stuff, but done very, very nicely. Okay, so I won't read through all of these, but um, I just wanted to show you a couple more. This one is a Christmas zine. Doesn't have any text, just all images, illustrations, and each page is, um, it's a standalone, right? Each one is, is its own page, but it still follows through with the whole theme. Lots of nice stuff. Um, one I did, I used a quote that I carry from from page to page, or actually not from page to page, but from spread. I've got a title here. This is my title page. Everybody has a calling. Then this is the spread. Part of the quote goes here. I have a postage stamp, some pattern paper, and the background is uh, just rubber stampings that I've colored in with... Um, color pencil. Okay, here's another postage stamp, another piece of, that's a, just a piece of map, and pattern paper. Okay, very simple. This one I forgot to sign, but I'm, I will, I'm going to do that. Very important. When you are done with your zine, you open it up. I'll spread this back out so you can see. You open it back up and you take it to go get copied, photocopied, or if you have a printer at home, a printer copier at home, you, you do that. You stick it in your machine 
and it will print out you know however many pages that you you want to um, to exchange so let me show you how to make a zine so you take your piece of paper this is eight and a half and eight and a half by eleven a four you fold it in half the long way fold it in half this way turn one side to the front and the other side the opposite direction so that when you look at it this way it's kind of like an accordion kind of like the letter M so you take your scissors and you're going to be cutting a very thin sliver off from here to here so that when you open it you have this gap. So you're going to turn this one back the other direction so it looks like this and now you've got your book. Okay. So decide which way you want to open. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I'll go like that. That's fine. Now for this this example, I'm just going to write a number on it so that you can see which which pages, uh, where it starts, and all that sort of thing. Where's the layout? If you want, you can do this. Um, you don't need to, but it it kind of helps. I'm doing this in pencil. I'm just going to write the page numbers on here so that I can erase it later on. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that when you open it back up, you can you can see how it's going to go. One, two, three, and then you're going to turn it around. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Here you begin to see that you're going to have here's your title page and here's going to be your spread, first spread, pages two and three. Then you're going to have another spread of four and five, six and seven, and then the back page where you'll sign it and finish off is going to be page eight. Um, once you are done and you put it back together, one question people have is, do you need to glue the pages together? Do you need to glue them down? No, you don't. Um, most people don't. They leave it just as is. It kind of allows it the book to be a little more flexible if you want to store them flat or, um, you know, or like this. This one is glued down, so it's very sturdy now. But it's, it's not necessary. It's really not. The only thing is just make sure you put your name and your uh, and the date on it. And of course, you know, choose a theme that you can follow through from page to page all the way to the end. So those are my samples. There is one more I wanted to share because I thought it was just pretty funny. Um, this is great. These are all images taken from a 50s, looks like 40s, 40s or 50s um, advertisement, really, and then put through. Is your husband hard to cook for? Mom, what'll I do? Jack just phoned that he's bringing two men home for dinner, and it's too late to shop. Don't get panicky, Sue. Give the brutes tuna cutlets. They'll love them. So this is, is just so well done. I, this is just so clever. I like it a lot. Another one is with stamp heads only. Where is that? This one, stamp heads. So you take a body from somewhere else and then put a, attach a stamp head 
to it. I don't have time to talk on the phone. I have so many stamps to sort. So sometimes people use um, typewriters, or you could just you know print something out uh, and cut out the, the the words that you need to make your story, or not, or not. As I mentioned, this Christmas one doesn't have any text at all, and it's it's really very very nice, nicely done. All right, so I hope that answers your questions. If you have any other questions, please, um, you know, leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. I hope to do a, to organize a swap of zines. So keep an eye out for that. If, if I announce such a thing, I will also put that in the description box. So thanks for watching.